class in this video I want us to go ahead and do a wall sweep for our pilasters that occur along the exterior wall but I wanted to show you this elevation view that you have access to uh, just to point out a couple things in the past couple of videos we've laid out exactly how you create the custom roof parapet that you need to create for the different elevations we particularly laid out this one in, in the past video in this video we're going to look at adding a wall sweep for the pilaster so that we can complete what we need to create here but I do want to point out with your existing walls we're going to have to use our, our top offset to give ourselves a parapet height that occurs right above that third floor level approximately say two feet uh, so as I make those modifications to the model I just wanted to be clear where that's coming from so let's get started okay so now we're back here in our Revit project environment so I just select my pilasters and we're coming up here to edit type through properties and we're gonna focus on this menu we're still coming back into our edit structure and the first trick if you look down at the bottom you'll see the sweeps button is grayed out we need to open our preview and we'll change this to a section view if you read right here modify wall structure section preview only once we have a section preview shown in, in, along with our menu you'll see that we can now get into these areas so now we're going to click on our wall sweep and then we're going to just add profiles well in a future video we'll look at loading profiles that we can save on our desktop or other places but we're just going to load the default profiles that are available and we're going to come back and use the same 20 inch wide pair pick cap precast that we used in the past video and we're going to give a material to that because when we come back into our renderings we don't want to have to come back and apply materials individually to every surface just to do the renderings so doing it as you go is definitely recommended and I'm just going to type in my precast and assign a precast material to this 20 inch wide pair pick cap that we're creating here we're going to measure it from the top and I'm going to click apply and you can see in the preview it's actually helpful to be able to see exactly exactly where that profile and the sweep is located because the next couple columns just allow us to be able to modify what direction it's a little offset towards the front right now I can center it about my wall if I just begin to play around with some of the values here so I'm just gonna put two inches and you'll see it was moving in the opposite direction than I wanted so we know we need to go in a negative direction so probably an inch will be fine for what we're doing here and we'll click OK with that and that assigns a wall sweep here now as far as our sweeps I do want to point out here is this sweep is at the top so it actually does not cut the wall it actually sits above the top so that's going to be fine in the event that we had that we come back and create you know more of a soldier course sweep within the wall then we would definitely want that to cut the wall and cuttable is based on the objects that we insert into that wall do we want the sweep to be cuttable or do, would we want our soldier course for example to just continue to run through the doorway so I'm just gonna click apply since we have this set up let's go ahead let me shrink my menu down but let's go ahead and just apply this here and we'll click OK now you can see that sweep is happening all, happening now along all of our parapet walls to represent the elevation that we looked at at the beginning of the movie so you'll see that's actually going to be applied to all of these pilaster wall types I do want us to come over here and I wanted to point out a couple quick things regarding the selection of particular wall types that will be that is helpful for you remember anytime you select the pilaster as we begin to make the modifications to bring the wall height up I can hold down my control key and select multiples but I also have the option to if I right click on my mouse I can select all instances in view that's another way to more quickly select things and then I can come back using my control or shift shift allows me to deselect the particular wall and control allows me to add to that selection so just very quickly I'm able to say all right let's go up three feet from the top of this offset here and apply that and we'll click OK now these pilasters are three feet above and we'll click on our the walls that we need to 
I'm actually going to do those individually. Um, and we're just going to bring those two feet high just to give us a give us a parapet that extends above that roof level. I am going to modify my roof type as well. And I'm going to use a generic four inch. If you do not have that in the project, you can go ahead and, and create that. We should be able to do that at this point. And I'll repeat the process to give myself a cap. But in this video, we created the wall sweeps that we need for our pilasters. You've already got the custom parapet video that allows you to create uh, the more intricate areas where our parapet changes as we get to you know some of the entry areas and some selection tips on how to more quickly select the walls so that you can modify your mo model a little bit more quickly. I hope this video has been helpful for you.